Oz is a land filled with wonder and mystery, and this August marks the 85th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz. In this video, I'd like to take you on a journey through some of the coloring pages I've found that are inspired by the timeless classic. Whether it's Dorothy and her companions, the witches, munchkins, hot air balloons, or green ethereal structures, there's all kinds of captivating coloring pages that bring the world of Oz to life. While I can't color all these coloring pages, I do plan to color some of them. Let's check them out. And while I'm at it, I might as well share a couple of dolls that I own. Here we have Dorothy. I don't have Toto, but typically Toto would be near her basket, if not near her side. I've got the Tin Woodman, which I think I've always called the Tin Man. The Cowardly Lion. And the Scarecrow. So I'll go ahead and share some of the pages I'm considering, but depending on time, I may only get to like five to six of these, but I wanted to share some ideas of some pages if you want to celebrate as well. This book was created in 2015 by Jae Eun Lee, and it is Dorothy Discovering the Scarecrow. That one's high on my list. Here's looking to you, Scarecrow. The second page is a, is a really big page, actually. It's them on the water. And uh, I'm going to have to be in the mood to color this one, actually. I haven't committed to it just yet. I'm just kind of eyeballing it a little. It's something I'm considering. And the third page is possibly this, just because it has all the characters. I haven't committed to this one either. And then this page I thought would be beautiful, just because it has the China girl here. So there is all the pages in this book. So one of the pages I had considered was a witch. And this would be the Wicked Witch. I think it's pretty fitting and it's in The Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson, so it might be a fun one. The next page has uh, a witch and a potential Dorothy. So let's see, it's in Wildflower Folk. And I've been wanting to color in this book for a while now, so it kind of gives me an excuse. This is the one I was considering. I know it has like a red riding hood vibe to it, but something about the basket, looking at you Dorothy and your little basket. I think I could consider making her outfit kind of like our little Dorothy here, this little Madame Alexander doll. I could probably do some stuff that kind of has that vibe to it with the checkers and stuff. So I think I can convert her into it and then having her hair dark. I think that one's one I, I want to do. I also have a really pretty little potential good witch in here. To me, she kind of has that witchy vibe to it. So I'm going to think about considering her as my good witch. I have been looking at some of the Madame Alexander witches, but for now, I'm pretty happy with the ones I have. And then the next one, I went through all my books. I could only find a male lion with a female lion, which more was like Simba and his lady Nala. So I didn't want to go there. This one kind of is like, like he is, he's basically after the cowardly stage. You know what I mean? And then this would have been a scarecrow. If I didn't have that other book, I probably would have done a type of scarecrow, but the other Wizard of Oz book has a scarecrow that's kind of fitting for this little guy, so. And in case I didn't share this, this was in Fantasia. This next one is another one that I was surprised that I found. This is Luna by Maria Troll. This is a uh, kind of like the Munchkins. I think I do want to commit to this. I, I feel like this would be something that little Dorothy would discover with the Munchkins, is doing something like this in the town, you know? The other one was also a surprise. This looks kind of like what I would vision Dorothy was coming home to. I haven't committed to this one, but I thought it would be kind of neat to share. The next page is really neat. What I would define as something that you would see in Dorothy's Kansas home. So I think it's really something I want to commit to. Yeah, I think this is a neat indoor interior to Dorothy's life. In Bloom, this is an uncertain one, but I thought I was looking for a coloring page with a balloon in it because that's one of the things you get to see in the film, right? The balloon and the wizard and stuff. 
So while I haven't committed to this, I do think it's kind of triple, right? It's like three types of air balloons, but they're with flowers. And I think, I don't know, I kind of like this page. Just it seems like a relaxing page to color as well. But if you didn't see my completed coloring pages, there's the perfect coloring page to color, which I've already done in Shooting Star, the new book by Maria Troll. The last one's kind of a page that I think could be like a stairway to Oztown, really. So I plan to do this one. This one I'll commit to. And I think it'll be fun because the idea of making this completely green and then figuring out how to get some of these poppies that you get, I think they were red in the film. I think this is just like the perfect page to try. Little Wizard of Oz themed colors. So I'll go ahead and list all of the coloring pages that I've committed to. I hope you'll join me in this Oz coloring challenge. Thanks for watching.